welcome to today's video. So this video has been requested for me to show you how I stamp on my non-dominant hand. So showing you how to stamp on my right hand. So we're going to be doing this wonderful triangle design over a grey base. So if you want to find out my tricks and tips for stamping on your non-dominant hand, then please stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need is a base colour, um, which is a sort of medium grey colour. I'm using Gelish Clean Slate, um, which is this grey colour. It has sort of a lilac-y tone to it as well. Um, obviously you'll need a base coat if you're doing this on natural nails and you'll also need some top coat and I'm using Gelish Top It Off. This is the stamping plate that I'm going to be using today. It is Braun Pretty Store Plate BL027 and I got this from We Heart Nails UK. We're we'll using this design up here. Then for stamping polish today, we're going to be using Moe London in Purple Mousse, which is this sort of dusty purple colour. I get this, it, again, it's sort of like a lilac-y toned greyish kind of colour. So I thought it went really well with the grey. And then going to need sort of a really dark purple colour, and I've got OPI Lincoln Park After Dark. Then for stamping today, I've got my MoU London Extra Large Stamper Non Sticky Translucent Head, and I've got one of the MoU London credit card scrapers. So the first thing that I've done is I've done two coats of colour of um, clean slate, curing in between each layer. Then I've also added one layer of top it off which is your top coat cured that and wiped the inhibition layer off and then I've actually buffed the shine off the top it off with a white block you can use a white block or a 240 buffer file whichever one you have so and they have now become matte so we can now start stamping so this is what the stamping plate looks like so I'm going to be using this triangle design up here. So the first thing that we're going to do is I'll show you my other hand because I've obviously already done it. So we're going to be using purple mousse on our pinky index and thumb and then as accent nails we're going to be using Lincoln Park after dark on our ring finger and on our middle finger. So first of all I'm going to get purple mousse. <laughs> So, for this one, we're going to do exactly the same thing as we always do and go from cuticle to free edge, lining up the image and just putting your finger into the stamp. Just like that. So, we're going to be using purple mousse again. <music> the image so we're going to be doing our index finger and exactly the same thing lining up our cuticle and the image and going cuticle to free edge just like that so lastly I'm going to do thumb in purple mousse <music> So, and again, lining up the cuticle and just stamping, just like that. So now I'm going to get Lincoln Park After Dark. So because this is a normal polish, this isn't a stamping polish, you're going to need to use a lot more polish than you would if you were using a stamping polish. There is the image. So, and just like before, lining up the design with the cuticle and 
going down to the front edge. So once more with Lincoln Park After Dark. <music> Lastly, one more time, lining up the design with the cuticle and going down to the free edge. Just like that. So now I'm going to clean up around the edges, top coat with my jelly to top it off twice, curing in between each layer, and then I will be back with you. And here is the finished result. So as you can see, both of my hands look exactly the same. So I find the method of stamping from cuticle to free edge really, really helpful when you're doing a non-dominant hand. Um, as you can see, it makes, makes me line up the image really well, especially on an image like this where it needs to be really well lined up each time it needs to look the same. But I hope that you liked this tutorial, guys. It's quite a simple tutorial, but I think it's really effective. Um, please go and check out all the rest of my social media, my Instagram, my Facebook page. Um, please also like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all again soon. Bye.